So who do you think was the smartest person? Einstein or Tesla? The Serbian inventor, Nikola Tesla, born in a tiny Serbian village with big dreams and a suspicious cat who hid some of his theories. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. In 1884, Tesla immigrated to New York and was hired by Thomas Edison. Tesla's genius mind never translated into money, academic or social success. No free energy device will ever be allowed to reach that market. Although Einstein paid a great respect to the Serbian inventor, Tesla never showed him respect in return. Magnificent mathematical garb, which fascinates, dazzles and makes people blind to the underlying errors. Not much is known about the theories he did not publish. However, there are a few options, and here is one. Here we see the representation of a single photon of light. Scientists understand many of the properties of light, but light still holds some mysteries that perplex us. Thomas Young first demonstrated the wave nature of light in 1803 with his famed double slit experiment, and ever since then the world's top minds have debated what the results of this experiment actually mean. Although Young's double slit experiment is repeated many times every day, we are always left with the same perplexing question that goes to the core of quantum mechanics and even our very understanding of matter. Is light a particle or a wave? Experiments have revealed that light has the properties of both a particle and a wave, but how can it be both a particle and a wave? Then we find this to be the case for all electromagnetic radiation and all matter. This leaves the world's brightest minds still searching for answers to this basic question. Is matter a particle or a wave? When wireless is fully applied, the earth will be converted into a huge brain, capable of response in every one of its parts. Few of Tesla's most controversial inventions were Earthquake machine, thought camera, wireless energy, artificial tidal wave, electric power supersonic airship, and the death bin. In order to begin to understand Tesla, we must understand the basis for all his theories, the magnetic force. The fields shown around the green photon are electromagnetic fields of opposite polarity, with the red field being of north magnetic orientation and the blue field being of south magnetic orientation. It will be proven that this is actually the way that magnetic fields are structured around all matter. This applies from the smallest particles we have discovered to the largest structures in space. If you were to measure these fields with a compass, their magnetic fields would appear identical to the magnetic fields of a bar magnet. This also means that when we measured the magnetic fields of matter with other methods in the lab, we also assumed that matter had a bar magnet type of magnetic field. But this assumption was a mistake. So until now we have incorrectly assumed that electrons and other matter have a magnetic field shape as shown in this drawing. But we must realize that the fields around an electron, as well as around all other matter, are actually two opposing, bowl-shaped electromagnetic fields. I believe that this magnetic field structure is an intrinsic property of all matter. Therefore, you cannot have a particle of matter unless these magnetic fields are there to form it and confine it. To further understand these magnetic fields and validate this new theory, Hundreds of experiments were conducted utilizing a vacuum chamber and specially constructed bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters. When 70,000 volts of electricity is applied, the plasma formations that you are now seeing appear. A variety of purging gases were used in these experiments. This includes ordinary air, argon, hydrogen, and helium. A change of magnetic field emitter geometry 
also results in a change in the shape of the plasma formation within the vacuum chamber. It is important to note that these bowl-shaped magnetic fields will not always be nice, simple, symmetrical structures. They can be warped, twisted, offset, or one field might even be larger than the other as shown here. You will clearly see how this new theory explains the structure of not only the sun, but also all matter, from electrons, to atoms, to molecules, to planets, to stars, to nebula, and even to entire galaxies. After completing hundreds of these vacuum chamber experiments, I am positive that the answers to both the energy crisis and global warming are now within our reach. Utilizing this new knowledge of the true forces that hold all matter together, a radically new type of energy reactor is in the works. These energy reactors will be very small, safe, and relatively inexpensive. So the dream of low-cost electricity is at the door. As you can see here, we are already well on our way to fulfilling our dream. Plus, there is an additional benefit to this technology. Zero carbon emissions. All people everywhere should have free energy sources. Way ahead of his time, in 1906, Tesla was ready to build the first world system. Or in other words, what we call now the internet? The only thing holding these balls in position are the magnetic fields emanating from these two bowls. Could this truly be the way that atomic and molecular structures are properly explained? I believe so. The steel balls are supported by a sheet of clear acrylic which does not come in contact with the magnetic bowls at all. Therefore, it is only the magnetic fields of the red and blue bowls which are responsible for the shape of the patterns we observe here. Then in the nucleus area, we found that non-magnetized steel balls form geometrically shaped arrays that match the patterns found at the molecular level. A wide variety of methods were used to study the magnetic fields emanating from these bowls. Here we see ferrofluid at work showing the magnetic patterns formed within these bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters. So you should be starting to understand that a critical mistake was made by scientists when it was assumed that the magnetic fields emanating from matter such as atoms was due to a simple bar-shaped magnetic field within the atom. This assumption led to many ill-formed ideas as to the true forces at work from the subatomic level to the galactic level. So here is the basic shape of the magnetic fields that emanate from a typical structure in space. Now let's examine some structures in space and see if we can't find evidence for this shape at work in galactic formations. These large structures in space could not be explained by the currently accepted theory of gravity alone. So as we studied these structures, it was assumed that some extra source of gravity was required to explain how all this matter could be held in orbit around the central star in these galaxies. This is how the theory of black holes became accepted when trying to explain these structures. It was a totally reasonable line of thinking, but it was found that even using black holes with incredible gravity we could still not explain how these large structures in space are held together and function. So the next mistake that we made was to assume that some other extra matter was there to explain these large structures in space. Along came our theory of dark matter. But even when we applied both the theory of black holes and dark matter to our puzzle, there still were some problems. It seems the universe itself was not only expanding, but that that rate of expansion was increasing. To explain this, we came up with the theory of dark energy. 
So now we have invented three totally unproven theories to explain what we find in the visible and known matter in space. Black holes, dark matter, and dark energy. But they are not required at all if you eliminate the basic misunderstanding of magnetic fields around the nucleus of all structures in space. Once you properly understand this revolutionary theory of how magnetic fields can cause not only plasma, but actual matter to form the structures we find in space, you will clearly see that black holes, dark matter, and dark energy do not exist at all. We made some fatal mistakes in our thinking. So who do you think was the smartest person? Einstein or Tesla? We might not have the answer, but perhaps Einstein did. When he was asked how it feels to be the smartest person alive, his answer was, you should ask Nikola Tesla. So now I'm gonna show you magnetic ejection utilizing the CERN ball. So this one will shoot these magnets, ordinary magnets, about 25 to 30 feet across the room if I have a large room. I don't have that big a room we're working in right now. So I'm just gonna show you what I'll do. So pulls it down here, and I'll just put it in through the bottom, through the hole in the bottom. A little tricky, it doesn't really wanna go in there. <laughs> it's kinda of against it. But then you get it to where it's a balance point, where it doesn't take any energy. But once you push it past that balance point, 